Yo, what's good? Today I'm gonna show you how to make Spanish guitar Latin samples for Drake, SZA, in the style of R&B and dancehall type beats. So I'm gonna go over three samples that I made and break them down individually and show you exactly what presets and instruments I've used to make them. And yeah, I hope you find this useful. And without any further ado, let's hop right in. So this is what the sample looks like broken down in the MIDI. So the first thing I did was come up with a pattern for the main guitar loop, for which I've used the Flamenco Guitar B from Omnisphere preset. You can use any other preset, I just like this one and it's also convenient because I have Omnisphere installed. I don't have contact installed and I've had no other better sounding plugin for vinyl guitars and nylon guitars. So I stuck with this one. So for the intro of the sample, I've layered the main guitar melody with a bass preset, Big Boy Oscar from Trillion. I wanted the intro to sound clean and friendly, and I didn't want it to sound overwhelming, so I stuck with these two instruments. And this is what it sounds like. This is what the guitar sounds like alone. And here's what the bass sounds like. After that, I've just copied over the first two patterns and added a flute sample from a one-shot kit I've downloaded from YouTube. Then I added a reverb EQ and made it follow the pattern of the tone changes of the guitar. I made it so that when those guitar triplets came in on the second bar, the flutes fades in as well. That just adds some life and creates some rhythmic change to the whole sample. I've also added that fading riser effect just to add to that transition effect between the first and the second part of the sample. And here's what it sounds like. of all that I've layered a bell mixed with a portal preset I've downloaded from YouTube again I don't know the preset I think it's Chronicles something sorry for the guy that made it it is fire though and that just adds to that complexity level we're searching for when making these type of samples this is completely up to you what you want to add here I just stumbled upon a bell preset in analog lab and decided to make whatever most of it though this step is very important because this is what separates you from the masses of the people that make other samples it just does that key element that you need it's almost like a signature if you want to say that and again here's what it sounds like alone
same thing, came up with the main melody for the guitar, and since this sample is slower, I've decided to go with the dance hall style. For the preset, I've used the exact same preset as the other one, it's the Flamenco Guitar B from Atmosphere. I've just added some reverb and cut out the low ends, and here's what it sounds like. Here I've used another preset from Atmosphere, a flute I found by searching vintage sounds, something like that. I know I've used a lot of Atmosphere in this video, but they really have some good ass sounding sounds in there, especially for making these type of samples. And as long as it works on see why not? Next up I've added some bells from Analog Lab and you already know I had to add that portal preset just to give it that delay crystallish effect. Then I exported the sample, pitched it up, and reversed it. Next up, a flute I got from a one shot kit. Again, exported it and pitched it up. Now for the percussion, these speak for themselves. Next, I exported everything and layered it with a bass, the same bass from Trillion, the Big Boy Oscar preset for the second half. Finally, this is what the final product sounds like with the whole thing exported and bass layered over it. So this one is actually more complex, but the actual creative process was the same as the previous one, so I came up with a guitar pattern. In this one I have actually used a different one, I've used the nylon guitar preset instead of the flamenco guitar because it sounded more melodic, and after about 10 minutes I've ended up with this. Then I 
followed that up with a preset from Analog Lab that I've used as a pad. So the sound was already muffled how I wanted it to be. But if it weren't, I would have gotten rid of the high ends. So I would give it almost that low fi vibe. follow that up I've used another pad from an analog lab bang and pitched it an octave up so that it would fill out the empty space we have on the high ends and I've layered it with the other pad Then I wanted to add a Rhodes piano, so I found a one shot from a one shot kit I've downloaded from YouTube and made a chord progression that matches the one of the guitar. This is what the one shot sounds like. And then this is what I've made with it. And next as a final touch, I've decided to add some percussion and I found some acoustic guitar noises that I've used to complement the main guitar and that turned out pretty nice. And for the percussions, it's a very wet and damp one. If I'm not wrong, I think it's live recorded. Splashes of water. It sounds weird at first, but when you combine everything, it sounds better than what you'd expect at first. And then finally, in the end, the most important part, I saved the best for last. It's of course the vocals, which I added an EQ over and got rid of the low ends and boosted the high ends to make it more clean. Then I've added a reverb and echo, but just slightly, so it just feels like an actual room or studio recording. And that complemented everything else so nicely. I was actually impressed by the final result, and this is what they sound like. So this was the last sample, hope you liked all three of them, I hope you found this video useful, if you did please drop a like and subscribe to boost the algorithm, and if you have any video suggestions please leave them down in the comments, and until the next time you have a good one.